Hello everyone. This fall we will be talking about big data. I will be posting different videos on big data and different tools and ways to analyze it. For that we will start with the installation of Hadoop on Windows 10. I will also be posting different tutorials on our programming language for machine learning. So without further ado, let's start with the installation. We will perform the installation in four easy steps. We will begin with downloading the correct version of Java and Hadoop and it's their installation. And then we will set up the environment and path variables for Java as well as Hadoop. And in the configuration step, we will edit five files and then we will configure the bin folder of Hadoop. And at the end, we will test if our installation was successful or not. Let's begin. First of all, we will download and install Hadoop and its prerequisites. So we all know that Hadoop is built upon Java. So first of all, we have to download and install Java. All right, now we have to figure out that which versions of Hadoop we will be uh, installing and which uh, version of Java is compatible with that version of Hadoop. So uh, Hadoop 2.6 and earlier supports uh, Java 6. It requires Java 6 and Hadoop 2.7 and later requires Java 7, while Hadoop 3.0 and later requires Java 8. So first of all, let's go to the website of Hadoop and see that what is the latest version that we will be downloading, and then we can find out that which Java version we have to install. This is where you can download Hadoop for free. This is the Apache organization web page. Here you can see different versions of Hadoop, and you can see that the latest version is 3.3.0. But instead of downloading the exact latest version, we will download a version which is uh, previous to this latest version. And you can see that version is 3.2.1. Why? Because this will be the stable version. So to download it, we will click on this binary here and then click on this mirror link. And right after clicking here, your download will begin. Also, now since we know that we are uh, we will be downloading and installing 3.2.1. So now we know that the Java version which we need is 8. So we will download JDK 8. Let's go to that page. This is where we will be downloading JDK 8, Java Development Kit 8. And I will post the download links of both Java and Hadoop in the description below so that you can download it easily from there. Scroll this page down and you will see the link for Windows. So if your Windows is 64-bit, then go for this option. If your Windows is 32-bit, then go for this option. Click on this link to download the JDK, and then check this form, press this button, and then you will be given an account sign-in form. So create your account here, and then you can download Java free of cost. Let's sign in to download. So the download has started. Your download will start right after clicking this button. Both the files are successfully downloaded. You can see Hadoop 3.2.1.tar and you can also see JDK 8. Let's start the installation with Java. Double click it, click next, click next. Now make sure to install this in a new folder, right? And what we want to do is we want to install it in C directory in a folder named as Java. So select C directory, Select make new folder, name this folder as Java. Click OK. And this is your uh, new destination. Why is it saying new folder? It should say Java. Yeah. So this is your uh, destination now, C Java. And then click next. So the installation has been started. You can see that Java Development Kit has been successfully installed. Click Close. Now what we have to do is we have to merge the two folders. We have Java here and then we have another folder in Program Files named as Java. We have to merge this JDK. Uh, we have to just we just have to move this folder and put it in the folder that we created in C directory. Why? Because sometimes when we create the environment variables, it throws error. So to avoid those errors while creating the environment variables, we will just 
move that uh, folder JDK 1.8.0 here. Just do it and then you can uh, delete this folder Java here. You can see it's empty. You can just delete it. So your Java is here in this folder now inside C directory. Now let's move towards the second step and set the environment and path variables for Java. Go to start menu, click settings, go to system settings, and then type environment. Click on edit the system environment variables, then click on environment variables. Here, what we have to do is we have to add a new variable. Click on new type java underscore home and here we will paste the path of jdk bin folder so the path of bin folder is this so our java is installed inside the c directory and we have jdk in java folder and inside this jdk we have this bin folder click ok and then click on path variable click edit click on new and paste the same thing here right and then click ok press ok and you are done with this now that java is installed in our system let's see if the installation was successful or not for that open command prompt type java c so if a list of options uh, appeared relating to java it means our java is uh, working fine so let's see that so java is working properly you can also see the version of java using java hyphen and version so you can see that the java version is 1.8.0 so this means that java is successfully installed and is working fine into our system now let's install hadoop let's install hadoop since the extension of this file is tar, we have to extract it first. So to extract it, click here. Now the file is successfully extracted. Now open this extracted file. You will find another zip file inside. Extract it again. Now you can see these three errors. It's fine. You can ignore them. Close it. So now we have our extracted file here. Let's move it to the C folder. Let's put it here. Okay, now we have extracted it successfully. What we have to do now is to set environment variables. But before setting the environment variables, we will perform some configurations. Open your Hadoop folder and go inside the etc folder here you will find another hadoop folder open it here you will find a set of five files which we actually have to edit the first one is core site.xml the second one is hdfs site.xml the third one is mapreduce site.xml and fourth one is yarn site.xml here and the last one which we have to edit is Hadoop environment, which is a Windows command prompt uh, type of file. So we have to edit these five files and then we will go towards setting up the environment. The five files which we have to edit are highlighted here. Core site, HDFS site, MapReduce site, Yarn site and Hadoop EMB. Let's open them all up for editing. I have opened up all the five files for editing. You can see them here. You can see their name. Let's start with editing the core site.xml. I will paste this code uh, in the description below so you can use it from there. So save this. Now let's edit the next file which is mapreduce site.xml. Paste the code here. Save it. Let's edit the yarn site.xml. I will paste this code in the description so you don't have to worry about it. Again, save it. Now here comes the interesting part. Before editing hdfs site.xml, we have to create 
a data node and a name node. So in, in simple words, we have to create two folders in Hadoop folder. So first of all, let's do that and then we will edit this file. Go to C file, C directory, go inside Hadoop 3.2.1 and here create a new folder named as data. Go inside this folder and then create two new folders. The first one will be data node and the second one will be name node. Now we actually need the path of these two folders. So this is the path that we need for data node and this is the path that, that we need for name node. Now let's edit the HDFS site.xml. Here we have set the replication property as one, although the, the default value for uh, Hadoop is actually three. The replication property is actually three uh, by default, but we have set it as one because we are working on our local machine and we want to save memory. Also, you can see that here in the name node property, I have given the path of the name node. So the name node is inside the data folder and the data folder is inside the Hadoop 3.2.1 folder. And similarly for the data node. So this is the path for data node. Save this file. Now let's edit the Hadoop env file. Here we just have to edit this variable Java home and we actually have to provide value for JDK here. To be on the safer end, let's copy the path that we set in the environment variable. So this is the path and we want to remove the bin folder here. This is the path to JDK. Now all the files are edited, which we had to edit. Now save them and let's go and set the environment variables and the path variables for Hadoop. Click new, type Hadoop underscore home. Here we have to provide path for the bin folder inside Hadoop. So go to your local C directory, go inside the folder Hadoop, and then here you have to find the folder bin, go inside it and copy this path. Paste it here. So this is actually the path of bin folder inside Hadoop. Click OK, and then paste the same path in the path variable, click edit, click new, paste this here and then after pasting this we have to make sure that we have to have we have to add another uh, path variable and that is the path of s bin so let's find that here inside hadoop find the s bin here you go click it copy this path and then paste it here click new and paste this path here and then you are good to go click ok and then OK again, and then OK here. So now we have set up all the environment variables and the path variables. Now let's uh, set the configuration files for Hadoop. If you go to the bin folder of Hadoop, you will see that some important configuration files are missing. So to fix that, go to the description of this video below and you will find a link. There you can download the configuration files you will download this configuration file from there, extract it, and there you go, go inside it. Here, this is the bin folder, and it has all the uh, important configuration files in it. Just uh, copy it and paste it in the Hadoop uh, folder. So you just, what you have to do is you have to delete this bin folder and you have to paste the uh, bin folder which you have just downloaded. So delete this bin and paste the bin folder uh, from the configuration files. So here you have set up. Finally, your Hadoop is installed and configured successfully. Now let's see if the installation was successful or not. For that, open command prompt. Type hdfs space name node space dash format. So this shows that Hadoop is installed successfully. 
and you can also see here that the name node is starting successfully let's close it let's open a new terminal and let's start all our demons so type the command start dash all dot cmd sorry first of all we have to go to the sbin folder uh, in hadoop right so traverse to that folder first cd hadoop and then cds bin and then type that command start dash all dot cmd press enter and here you can see uh, different demons all of your demons have started So Hadoop is installed and configured successfully. I hope you installed Hadoop successfully through this video. If you have any queries or any questions, you can comment them down below. Bye bye.